me so tough And I'm gonna take a turn on the world But I go love you Yeah, I'm gonna love you I'll give you Good morning. After uh, a bit of a rolly start to the evening, it really calmed down overnight, which is nice. And we actually got a really good night's sleep. So that's the result. Um, yeah, this anchorage is absolutely beautiful. It's a bit of a shame that the town's there, to be honest, because it doesn't really add to kind of the overall scenery. But, um, oh, well, that's the Spanish coast for you. Um, and today we are off to another town, um, I think it's called Gandia, on the Spanish coast. Uh, we're just day hopping up to Valencia really, so it's just somewhere at a convenient um, distance between here and Valencia. It's going to be about a 45 mile uh, passage. And once again, I think we will be motoring because as you can probably see, there's absolutely no wind whatsoever. Beautiful morning but no wind. So the motor is on and uh, away we go. I'm still yet to finish my coffee so that's job number one after lifting the anchor. rather the formal and polite way yes. of addressing me for such an early part of mine. <laughs> I'm just like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's a beautiful morning. In a uh, beautiful morning here. And I don't mind if it's my lousy one. It's a beautiful morning here. <laughs> no, it's a beautiful morning. Uh, we had a surprisingly, I had a surprisingly good night's sleep. That's a really well. Yeah, I thought I was going to be like rocking around all night, but we did check the wind, and the wind is actually the wind forecasts. Um, weather forecasts in different parts of the world so have different degrees of accuracy. Like the Bahamas, you might as well just have tossed a coin. It doesn't matter what the weather forecast said, it was different. Here, it's been surprisingly bloody accurate yeah. across the board. So the weather said it was going to settle down to nothing. And it has, and the swell really dropped off. It's still coming in. Still yeah, coming in. the swell direction's still there, but it's negligible. Last night it was kind of like, you know, probably about a foot, and you think a foot's nothing. You kind of surf a foot unless you're like a grot. But anyway, um, it makes for an uncomfortable night, especially when, especially when you've got wind from one direction and swell from the, um, a perpendicular direction. Yeah. Um, anyways. We could have set up an anchor bridle. We could have set up an anchor bridle. So we have no wind, um, which means that today it's 8 a.m. on the nail. Um, I don't think we're going to get 60 miles done today, but not unless the wind picks up and we can get wind. Basically, we need to average six knots to get to um, to get to Valencia tonight yeah. in 12 hours. Actually, five knots. Five knots. Five knots. If we do five knots, we can get in at 8 o'clock tonight. Well, let's just. Yeah, let's just play by ear. As I said, there's Gandia, there's that anchorage north of Gandia, and it is as calm as this. I'm alright with that.
10 a.m. So we've been on the go for two hours. Um, and we are rounding the last big cape of our, our season. Um, for those of you who are new to sailing, um, as we've already mentioned, capes always have higher winds and the wind is always on the nose because the wind kind of curves around. Anyways, uh, so we have the wind on the nose. We've just bore, borne away. We're bearing away to try and get a point of sail. Um, we're going to motor sail just to kind of get round. Uh, but it's beautiful. The wind moves round to where it should move round, it should actually take us all the way to Candia. Exactly. So we're hoping for a wind shift. Yes. Tell everyone what the wind is meant to do? Well it's meant to move, we're meant to get a wind shift between, it's meant to go from northwest to just north with a bit of east in it. So nor northeast, probably not even nor northeast, just anyways. Um, but the problem is you've got the effect of the land which will curve the wind around. So basically, what we need to do, you know, the mark for us is going to be, it's there, isn't it? Yeah, so the mark is there. That's the first place we can go. Yeah. So we're going to try and, hopefully, the, if, we, if we get what the weather says it's going to do, the wind will shift round and take our course there. Otherwise, what we will do is we'll have to tack, probably when we get over this, in, around here, so in about five miles, We'll put another short tack in and then just zigzag up. That's the plan. Why are we faster on starboard tack, not port tack? So, is this when you're going to tell me to work it out myself? No, because I don't think. Like, there's always like. On like YBW, and I don't actually. The short answer is I don't know. Someone said that because the world, the way the world spins around is the Coriolis effect of what? winds. What? Yeah. We are like a full knot, knot and a half faster on this tack than we were the other one. Well, and it's exactly all... the same wind angle. Yeah, boats always sail better on one tack. You know, it could be that there's more growth on one side, it could be loads of different things. But it's, get... it's significant, it's a knot and a half. Yeah, well, well, maybe not. And not. I said boats always sell better on one tag. In that case, that's what we're going to do. We're going to come up with an answer for this, so that we actually know. I actually think it's Coriolis a bit. I think, that's, I think it may have some little effect, but essentially, it's probably just to do with crap on the hull. And so, after a sweltering day of short tacking the Mediterranean, we finally arrive at Gandia. According to the Cruising Association website, there's not a lot here, but there is a swimming pool and a bar, and really that's all we need after a hot day at sea. Gandia Marina on the Spanish coast. I think this, I don't know what, what costa we're on now, but we're still on the costas. Looks like a very well protected marina. Perfectly good pit stop for the night. Nice friendly marineros. It's about four o'clock and uh, I think we're just gonna have a quiet night in. It's been a long day. You're going raging, are you? 
I doubt that. So we are going for a swim, a much needed swim in the swimming pool which apparently exists here. So I'm bloody excited about that because we've not been swimming in a pool since Lagos and actually we've not been swimming, I feel like I haven't sw swum since I cleaned the hole. So oh, I can really do with it right now. Hot, sweaty, long day of sailing. Let's go. In uh, well, Gandia. Gandia. Yeah. You shall not ask, ask Gandalf for that. <laughs> or Narnia. Maybe it's a cross between Narnia and Gandalf. <laughs> Anyways, uh, well, it's been a game, really been a day of two halves. Short tacking up the bloody, up the coast um, and making very little headway, um, which was frustrating with that sailboats. And uh, then having a fantastic. Finding out this marina, which is less than half the price of the last marina, has a half-size Olympic swimming pool, which, uh, after spending a day sweating into your own underwear, <laughs> uh, was a refreshing change. It was very refreshing. And now we're going to end our sail the same way we end all our sails, which is how? A lovely cold beer. A lovely cold beer. Un cerveza. Frio. 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 Cold beer. My Spanish is terrible, but I can ask for cold beer. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yes, so that's it. So tomorrow, Valencia. Valencia? Valencia. Valencia. Sí. Speriamo Valencia. I don't right. think it's, that's Italian. Espero. Well, we don't know. You're just speaking Italian again. <laughs> shh, shh. No one, no one knows this stuff. <laughs> All right. Join us next week as we finally arrive in Valencia and get to enjoy everything this amazing Spanish city has to offer. The food, the drink, the hospitality and the culture. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. There we go. Cheers, bye.